to my channel for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a homeschool mom day in the life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Happy to have you watch today's video. My name is Ashley and I have four kids and I've been homeschooling for a long time and I've been sharing for a long time about homeschooling here on my YouTube channel. So when I'm filming this, it is the end of September. I have not filmed a day in the life um, basically like in our normal house doing our normal routine since July so even though I've had content coming out for you guys and I did film a day in the life when we were out in our RV I have not filmed a day in the life at home in an extremely long time and so it's actually been like a little weird because these are videos that I film all of the time but I took a little break from filming them just to settle into our new homeschool year so we're nice and in our routine now so I figured I would bring you guys along today for just a normal homeschool mom day in the life today's video is sponsored by built bar and you guys know I love my built bars and I will tell you more about them here in a minute if you have never heard of them before they um, had a really fun release yesterday of, of everybody's favorite flavor it probably won't be available anymore but we just love Built Bar here, so I'm excited to share them with you guys. Um, so you can see the homeschooling table is all set up. I've already gone through my morning routine, got myself a little bit ready, five minute makeup, nothing super crazy, um, because I just felt kind of like getting ready a little bit today. Obviously, when you're gonna be filming, it's always nice to have the time to get a little bit together but don't be fooled i'm in my comfortable clothes my oversized t-shirt and legging situation is is homeschool mom uniform so we are just finishing up our morning routine of chores breakfast all that good stuff and then we are going to jump into school this school year i have been starting school at 8 30 and it's been going real well. So we've got about 15 minutes. Um, the kids had a little bit of a later start today. So um, my later start ones need to hurry up. Yeah, you. So that we can start here on time. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Give me a thumbs up if you're happy to see a new day in the life on my channel. Let me know if you guys have missed them while I haven't really been putting them out. Um, let me know down with a comment below. I feel like Day in the Life's are your guys' favorite videos that I create, but I could be wrong. So correct me if I'm wrong um, in a nice comment down below. So here is my protein bar basket in my pantry with, of course, tons of built bars in there. We have all the different flavors. The cookie dough, cookie dough chunk was a restock flavor that I'm sure is out of stock by now but I do have my mix bars um, from my mix box in here so we have salted caramel we have coconut almond we have all the yummy flavors in here um, so this bin in my pantry is always stocked full of protein bars for me to grab really quick in the mornings when we are taking a snack break in our homeschool day and always, always, always full of Built Bars because I love them so, so much. So if you guys have never heard of Built Bar before, they are an absolutely delicious zero guilt protein bar that has the consistency and the taste of a candy bar. So if you are someone who does not like protein bars, who thinks that they are chalky, grainy, bad tasting, I guarantee you, you will love Built Bar. And not just I guarantee, they guarantee. They have a 100% satisfaction guarantee on their bars for the taste. So this bar that I'm holding here is one of my favorites. It is the Coconut Built Bar. They are made with 100% real chocolate. This one is gluten-free. And they this bar particularly only has 130 calories with 17 grams of protein. So a lot of times when people are wanting to get healthier, they know that they need more protein. They look to protein bars. But unfortunately, all protein bars are not created equal. And some of them will have really high calories with high sugar counts and really high carb counts and then it kind of defeats the purpose of eating a protein bar so if you have a sweet tooth or you just want to have more protein in your diet or have a healthier snack that totally tastes like a treat to satisfy your craving 
you guys need to check out Built Bar. I have a link and a coupon code down below for you guys. You can use code Ashley15 to save 15% on your order of Built Bars. They also have other products on their website that you guys can apply that discount code to. So I really encourage you to check them out if you are wanting a yummy, yummy, yummy protein bar Everybody loves them. I've had so many of you guys message me and tell me that you are hooked on Built Bar now. And I should tell you sorry, but no, actually I'm really glad that so many of you are trying them and love them. So all the information to Built Bar will be down below for you guys. And thank you so much Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. He slowly drifted into, a, into position until the flock formed a wobbly V. At the lead, at the lead was long neck and behind his left wing was Bertha. They circled in the sky until the V pointed south and then the geese began their long migration. For us, Romans 8.28. Romans 8.28. Romans 8.28. Okay, and we know that in all things, let me say that in your mind, okay? That in all things. In that all things? In yeah. In that. that is all things. God works for the good. This one's a little longer than the other ones we've done so far. of those who love him comma who have been called according to his purpose how do you spell according? A C C A C O R D I N G. That no general was going to unnerve her. She sat in the front cockpit studying the, the manuals. After going through the checklist for engine ignition and takeoff, she cranked the plane to life. Soon, the ungainly craft was lumbering down the runway and into the air. Betty circled above Lima, gaining altitude with each circuit. Contrary to what General Powell had said, the Grumman Duck turned out to be one of the easiest airplanes she had flown. It performed well at 20,000 feet and were being We come into the world already knowing some things that God has placed within us. We already know something about right and wrong. The principle of induction by which we are able to learn from past experience also falls into this category, and so do several laws of logic. We will discuss these later. God has also given us sensory organs. So it is 10 o'clock now, and we just finished up our morning time. I am gonna do a whole video on um, our morning routine because this year I'm juggling a little bit more so I actually typed up like a little weekly schedule of what we are rotating through in our morning basket or morning time. So today's, um, today we went through, just give you guys a little recap. We went through our weekly memory verse, our character trait. Those cards are in here. We went through our daily affirmations which are from my friend Jamie. Uh, we went through each of their Fruits of the Spirit uh, daily devotionals. We went through um, World Watch News. We watched today's news episode. Um, I did a logic lesson with my older kids. This is an elective course that my high schooler and my eighth grader are taking. Amazing, highly recommend. Um, we went through our read aloud, uh, which is the wild robot. We went through our missionary story, which we're reading Betty Green. My younger two kids uh, read through their health books when when uh, we're reading through logic. They just move over to the coffee table and they work on that, read it, 
write, answer their questions while I do this. And then the last thing that I have for today is um, my science lesson with my younger two kids. So we are doing geology from the good and the beautiful. And so I have my science lesson with my fourth and sixth grader that I'll be doing with them today. Um, during that time, my older two kids will go upstairs and get started on their work. So we are just pausing for a snack break, snack break. Um, and then I'll do science with my younger two, which is the last thing that I have down here today before we go upstairs and start on our um their individual subjects upstairs today is walter's official birthday he's a two-year-old boy now look at him he's so cute with his waggly tail because he knows it's his birthday <laughs> everybody leave walter a comment and say happy birthday walter <laughs> wow he's really putting on the cute show right now Oh, he, he can only stay away so long when he knows I'm talking to him. One of Indonesia's islands is nestled right between the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. Earthquakes and volcanic activity are very common here. The beautiful, mysterious Mount... It is 12.30 and we are on lunch break. As you guys know, if you are a regular watcher of my channel, this year we are doing a lunch rotation. So today was my oldest son's rotation and he made everybody some sandwiches, some apple chips, and some club crisps. So he did a good job and cleaned up everything, which is a part of the requirement. So really proud of him for that. Uh, so they are having let me get into better lighting. They are having their lunch, obviously. I am going to have some lunch, but what I am also going to do is get dinner started in the crock pot. I, I don't know if I said this or not, but it's the technical first day of fall. And um, so that's really exciting around here because uh, that means like our outdoor time is coming. And we had the, I just closed the slider. We had the door open all morning while we were doing schoolwork at the table. And um, it was really nice. I love having that open. So I'm gonna make just an easy vegetable soup um, in the crock pot so that way it'll be ready for us all later. I sometimes I when I do crock pot stuff I'll start it like first thing in the morning and then other times lunchtime is a great time for me to kind of get dinner somewhat started or prepared. In this case, I'm just gonna put everything in the crock pot so it'll be nice and easy, but I'll show you guys just I'm sure you all know a vegetable soup recipe, but this one will just be super easy. Okay, so for the vegetable soup, this is just kind of like my own made up thing. You could omit vegetables if you don't like a lot of vegetables in your vegetable soup, which would kind of be ironic, but you know, to each his own. So I will dice up some celery, probably three, four um, stalks. We like onions, so I'll do a whole white onion. I have a can of cut green beans that I'll drain, oregano, black pepper, garlic, tomato sauce, kidney beans that I will drain, stewed tomatoes, um, some beef broth, some kale that I'll be adding, some potatoes that I'll be dicing, and then the carrots are right here. I need to cut those up. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this really nifty um, slicer. So. Fun fact about me, I absolutely despise cutting vegetables. I hate dicing things, um, and so I often just won't. We will have things that call for diced, and I'll literally just make huge slices because I cannot be bothered with that. So this thing had really great reviews on Amazon, and I'm excited to give it a try. Um, it comes with all these grading tools and then all the dicing ones, and it like has pretty simple instructions. So I'm excited to see how this works, and I thought the vegetable soup would be the perfect opportunity to try it. Summer. 
Uh -huh. Add good reviews. So I'm just gonna cut the ends off the onion and then cut the onion in half. And then just peel off the outside little layer. And then you supposedly just put it right on here like this. Maybe we'll go long ways and press. Let's see. Is it too big? Maybe a little bit. It might be too big. Let's try half. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> oh yes. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta really go for it. That's, there we go, that's the lesson. This is why you do cardio. You gotta go for it. Gotta go, gotta push hard. Cool! It works! No more dicing onions! Yay! Still makes you cry though. <laughs> wow, that looks fun. And then all my onions are right here into the soup. I changed it out so it's a little bigger. Same thing. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then maybe in half again just because it was a little big. faster than dicing it all yourself. Ooh, potato. Yeah, this thing is awesome, you guys. I will link this below. If you hate cutting vegetables, this is for you. I mean, look at this. I basically look like I work at In-N-Out Burger or something with these french fries. <laughs> but this is amazing. It's quick too. Now that I've got my crock pot full of veggies, it looks really full, but it will cook down. I'm gonna add a couple of bay leaves to the top and then put the lid on and um, have it cook. It's 1230 now, so I think we wanna eat around six. So I'm gonna do a six hour, yeah, a six hour crock pot time and that should be good succeeded in achieving her goal. Okay. The plural of discovery is discoveries. It is 1.45 and we are done with school for the day. Um, that's including our lunch and our snack breaks and that is with a high schooler. So I feel like we are doing pretty darn amazing when it comes to timing of school. I feel like all of the things that my kids are using are super high quality for accomplishing like what I want them to educationally but also like I don't want to be doing school until four o'clock every day. I'm sure we'll have those days as the homeschool year progresses, but um, at first I thought that it was just like a fluke because it was the beginning of the year or something, but we've gone on to be done by at the latest, at the latest 2.30 every single day. Um, so that's been pretty amazing. So. We started at 8.30 on the dot. We had a lunch and a snack break and it is 1.45. So basically, what is that? Five hours, including lunch break for high school. So 
um, like my younger kids were done sooner than that. So that is awesome. So now I am in the kitchen, as you guys can see, and I am going to do the dishes from uh, lunch. Normally the kids will load their plates and stuff right into the dishwasher, so that way I don't have to do this, but the dishwasher didn't get run last night, so it wasn't clean this morning, which kind of messed up the day. So. Um, the kid whose chore that was just finished unloading it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just load it up from getting the vegetable soup prepared and then lunch dishes. Um, and then I will probably have my afternoon coffee and then start my workout around 3.30. Um, I wanted to show you guys some of what I got for our family pictures this year. Um, fall is usually when most families take updated family pictures. We are no exception. And so I um, am piecing together outfits. And a lot of you guys asked me last year how I plan outfits. So I'll kind of lay everything out and show you what my plans are for that um, once I'm done here cleaning up in the kitchen. I do each and every afternoon is clear off our school table from our morning stuff that's why I have this morning cart it makes it super easy to just wheel over into my downstairs closet because we obviously do eat dinner at our dining room table so I can't leave everything out um, so yeah after we're done at like in the afternoon when I'm kind of doing like a little midday cleanup of the house i'll put the stuff away and then after we have dinner when i'm done cleaning the kitchen for the night that's when i set out our school table stuff um, here and i do that every single day so i know that that would drive some people crazy but we really like starting our day downstairs and going upstairs for the second half and so um, that's just a part of what I do. So I, you guys always ask like how I keep my house clean and stuff. And I just do things like this. Like I clean up as I go throughout the day. So I finished the dishes and now I am working on cleaning off the school table so we can have dinner as a family at our table later tonight. And then tonight I will set the table for tomorrow morning's morning time. Uh, we'll be doing history tomorrow, and so we'll have a whole different collection of books um, out on the table tomorrow. Which one's pull these? Um, I gotta, I'll pull that one, but I need to pull both of these at the same time. How do you go? Hmm. Slightly. All right guys, it's like two now and I came upstairs into my room um, after cleaning up the dishes. I made myself an afternoon cup of coffee. Got my protein bar. I always want something sweet in the afternoon after lunch. I know a lot of people have like a sweet tooth craving at night, but I get mine like in the afternoon. It's really weird. So love having my built bars for that. Um, but this is the time of day where I give myself like an hour to do whatever I want to do, whatever I need to do. Sometimes there's things I need to do. Sometimes there's not. So today I'm filming this and that is what was on my agenda for the day. So I actually will just like give myself an hour to do whatever. Um, the kids are off playing after school. They either just go off and do their own thing, go outside and play. Um, they always have something in mind that they've been wanting to do. My boys have been making like Lego cars and trying to make them go with balloons as you guys just saw. So that's what they're doing. The girls are doing something else. So we all just kind of separate and we take an hour. So I, I pulled out everybody's clothes for family pictures. Um, well, almost everything, but I wanted to show you guys how I piece together outfits. Every year I choose a color palette. This year I went with more of like a black and gray kind of color palette with some touches of brown. Um, I've never done black and gray photos before so I do try to choose something differently but you'll notice that nothing here matches perfectly um, and that's on purpose. So that's my recommendation is to choose like a color palette almost like you would decorating a bedroom and then pick different things. So 
Um, Jake got this Levi's uh, denim jacket, kind of like sweatshirt looking thing that he'll just wear a plain white shirt with. I got this for him off of Amazon actually and it looks really good on him and he likes it a lot. Um, he's gonna, I'll link that for you guys. He's gonna pair it with some black um, Old Navy denim jeans. These are slim um, in the 360 stretch. The boys, um, my oldest son is gonna do this gray pullover. My other son is gonna wear this Old Navy um, kind of plaid sweatshirt type looking thing. I actually need to double check that this fits him um, because I got him a large and I got an extra large in this one. So we'll make sure that that fits, but they'll both just be wearing denim jeans. So not matching their dad exactly, but kind of offsetting. Uh, I went with a super simple, like long, um, I guess, I don't know what you would call this, a maxi dress, it's long sleeve. It's from Carly Jean, uh, Los Angeles. And then these are those Dr. Scholl's booties that I got off of Amazon that are so comfy. I'll have those linked. If you're looking for a new pair, I really recommend them. My oldest daughter is gonna do a brown um, plaid, checkered rather um, shirt with black leggings and black combat boots. Um, this kind of pulls the brown in the buttons and then in my shoes and then my youngest daughter i got this for her off of amazon they have so many cute colors in this dress uh, i really recommend it my friend got it for her daughter and i loved it and i thought it would be perfect um so she's gonna do this dress over just a black shirt and then she also got some new boots that are down in the garage um, that i didn't pull out so that is what everyone is wearing for family photos this is like our theme my daughter might put on a hat as like her accessory um but yeah i like how it all looks together and i wanted to pull it out and make sure i liked it the things i mentioned on amazon this these and that will be linked the rest came from old navy recently so you should be able to find it if you look for it you guys we are sitting down for dinner to enjoy that soup on the first day of fall so I'm gonna end today's day in the life video here I hope you guys enjoyed just a regular homeschool mom day in the life I dropped off Kylie at practice that's why you don't see her so we are gonna save her dinner but we are gonna get ready to um, sit down and eat like I said so That'll be it for the night, just cleaning up, picking up kids from sports and showers and bedtime and then waking up and doing it all again tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for the day. I hope you enjoyed a day in the life video since it had been so long. I promise I will be making them more often now. I just need a little bit of a break and also to just establish like our new homeschooling routines before I am picking up the camera again. So. Be sure to check out the links to Built Bar. That coupon and discount code will be down below, the link as well, so you guys can just go right down there and find all of that, and I will see you all in my next video really, really soon, and I hope you guys are enjoying fall as much as I am, even if it's hot where you live. Bye, guys. Heading back to what used to be home Passing by those little towns I know so well Stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every friend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving